Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to apply this uh, really cool photo effect on your image. We are going to use the effects box, which is a free Photoshop extension for Adobe Photoshop. And you will get it here at theorangebox.com. You install it, it's very easy. And once you do that, you will have it in your extensions. You go to Window, Extensions, Effects box. Here you can load the extra filters and effects, like this one, the geometric dispersion. There are other effects, free and premium ones, go check them out. Once we are here, we can load a new effect. I click on the plus icon and I will navigate uh, to the installer JSX, which is included in the package. I double click and I will install this effect. Now we are going to use it on a photo. First of all, we need to create a new layer and paint where we want effect. We can use any tool we want at this stage, the pen tool, the lasso tool, the channels, and the selection that we do will uh, influence uh, the final result. We make sure that it is selected in the layers panel, and then we select the geometric dispersion effects and apply this effect. was a quick application of the effect. This time we're going to apply it on the, this image and we're going to use the polygonal lasso tool. Polygonal lasso tool uh, in this case for this action script is uh, quite useful because it creates a very rough selection of the subject. Also you want to try and uh, create this, um, uh, this mask, this selection so that it's not very bulky it's quite uh, linear like uh, in this case so it will create a sense of uh, movement and direction to your photo so once you create the selection you just make a new layer and fill it uh, with any color once you've done uh, this you just uh, select the geometric dispersion effects be sure that this uh, layer is uh, selected in the panel and then click uh, apply this effect So this is the result we get with the polygonal lasso tool. Let's see what we can do on the document to make it look uh, more unique and better. First of all we have the background photo intact and the starting selection. Then we have the background texture with the background image. We can try to make another color or change it, add it, whatever you want. You can uh, change of course the color of these uh, shapes if you double click here will appear this window which is the layer style and you can modify the layer and add uh, whatever you like for example uh, let's try to add another colored gradient and then we can uh, modify the middle shapes as you can see sometimes uh, removing the parts of the composition it might work it depends what you're looking for uh, a minimal uh, look or uh, more exploded look like more shapes and uh, patterns or uh, less shapes and then there is a is a layer called uh, reveal back if you pick up a white brush you can uh, reveal back parts of the photo that you want in this stage for example we can use other assets like uh, i've got these free splatter brushes in my library and I can use this uh, to reveal back parts of the original photo 
and create even more uh, interesting uh, effects. So from now on, this is the final uh, document, so you can modify and do everything you, you feel uh, looks good with your photo.